All right, Capricorn, I started filming your reading and then for some reason my camera just cut off and I know it's my spirit guides because this reading, Capricorn, this reading is so intense. I feel like someone in, this is about this other, per, this is this other person's perspective. Whichever, whichever person you're looking into, this is what they're going through. And Capricorn, this person is not in a good situation. They're not happy and... I feel their energy and it's very, oh my God, I just feel very afraid. I can feel what they're going through and they feel very afraid. They they are stuck. Like they are, they just don't see another way. Like but they want to free themselves, but oh my God, I have to start over because I filmed it and then I, it just cut off and I'm like, you know what, my guys really needed me to take a break because I was, I needed a break. And as soon as I looked up, I was like, whoo, I need a break. And as soon as I looked up, my camera shut off like my thing just paused and I checked my camera and it was fine there was the battery life was fine I had enough space on my camera but it just cut off and I know why it just cut off oh my god Capricorn this reading I know my spirit guys got involved just now because this was so intense oh my goodness Capricorn wherever you are right now in your life if you know that's not your life path and you know that does not suit you, I encourage you to make changes that suit you better because this person is a mirror soul and what they're going through is what you're going through. And once you free yourself, they can free themselves or they, it's like you guys free, you guys free yourselves at the same time. But both of you guys are trapped in some situation. And I don't know what it is. It may not be super clear to you what you're trapped in. But there is something super toxic in this dynamic that one or both of you guys recognizes. And please, I'm begging you, please free yourself. This is not life. All right. Let's get into it. So the root of the reading is the Two of Swords. Capricorn, this person feels very much trapped and they felt very much trapped in the in the distant past. They felt like they couldn't make a decision. This is Libra energy, moon in Libra, right? But Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person got caught up in a situation where they felt like they couldn't make their own choices and they couldn't, um, they felt like they could not make the right choice, right? They were so confused with the moon energy and the Ace of Cups. They knew that they loved you. That's what I'm hearing. They knew that they loved you. But they felt such... They felt so powerless in their choice, in their mind. In their mind, they feel extremely powerless. And they still felt that pull. That moon pull. I mean, look. Their energy, what they think of you this week is the moon. I mean, this moon energy does not show up twice for no reason, Capricorn. Whoever this person is, they know, they know that they need to be with you. They know. They know. Like, I'm not just saying that. What do I get out of saying that? You know? Bro, they know. Let's have a look at why this Two of Swords energy was, yeah, King of Cups. I feel like maybe this person is a father, with also with the emperor energy, this person is a father, right? They're a brother, maybe they, they love their family, or they just love whoever this is, or whatever this is, they have a deep love for it. They have the king of cups, is like my big love card, so they have big love for it, you know? That they're almost sacrificing themselves for this situation. I mean, the king of cups will sacrifice himself for the people that he loves, which is terrible, but it's, that's just him. He's very, he's a very loving character. And I feel like this person also began to be indecisive about where they were or whatever situation that they found themselves in because they realized that they also loved you too. And that they can't shake that love. Oh my God. Recent past energy is the devil. This is when I started to like lose my shit. <sighs> the devil. In the recent past, this person, like, the top, this is the toxicity. This is this person's face, and this is exactly what they, he was literally looking his toxicity or the toxicity in this situation square in its face, he or she, 
they were looking whatever this toxic situation was whatever this abusive situation was whatever this narcissistic unhealthy situation was they were looking at it dead in his face and they were like you know what you are unhealthy this is not for me okay let's have a look at <clears throat> All right, let's have a look at what this devil energy was. All right. The four of wands, a marriage, a commitment, an agreement, a contract, something that this person, a marriage, a commitment, an agreement, a contract. Could have even been a, um, you know, a business, something that they're doing. This person can have a lot of money. You know, they can be very wealthy. Because I know Capricorns don't fuck with no less. <laughs> I'm just messing with you guys, but seriously, this person definitely has a lot of responsibilities. But they feel like, oh my god, I'm trapped. They feel like there is no way out of the situation. They felt like that in the recent past. It's crazy. All right, they feel stuck. Some of them want to leave a marriage, but they don't know what to do. They don't even know what steps to take. They feel like, whoa, that's that's quite a journey, but it's not that hard. I mean, come on, it's not like I mean, I'm not saying it's not hard. You know, I'm not trying to be, in, you know, I'm not trying to be intolerable, whatever people say about me. Um, but <laughs> I'm just trying to, well, at least my haters said, you know, but I'm just trying to, this three of wands energy, it talks about venturing and journeying. But even though you journey on your own, it's not a full journey, you know, you, but you're journeying on your own, but it's not a full journey. It's not like you're completely alone. You know, it's not like you're just doing something and no one's ever done this before it's something that people have done before and they've made it you know but it's going to be a high it's gonna be a high tale let's have a look at why this devil energy came up in their recent past the knight of cups i feel like this person just realized that they were not following their heart capricorn they realized that they were not in a good situation like bro they are not i cannot say this enough they are not in a good situation i don't know who this person is i don't know what they do but this person came face to face with what the problem was. They, I think they were looking their whole life. They're like, what's the problem? What's going on? What's going on, baby? And then they really go, like, oh. <laughs> and it could have to do with this long-term situation that they're presently looking at. Or their present energy surrounding could be family and physical family. So mother, father, sister, brother, you know, wife, um, child, daughter, husband, you know. It could be that. It could also be, you know, your finances, your business. If you have a business that you pass down you know a family business maybe the family business is currently if they're contracted into it and it's completely got them locked into the situation like they are like wound into the situation like they almost feel like it, it they couldn't they couldn't find a way out it has to blow up like it can't just you can't just walk out of that it has to blow up B. so let's have a look at what this ten of pentacles energy is that they're presently focused upon I think it's family, the lovers, all right? It's about following their heart. This person is thinking about, okay, you know what? What do I want in my long term? At the end of the day, that's what they're thinking about. Whether this is surrounding family, they're thinking, they're, their present energy is on family or their present energy is on their material world and the things that are around them, taking stock of all that has come before them and all that they're wanting to create and their ancestors and, you know, the people that came before them, the people that they're going to raise, the people that they are currently raising. They're taking stock of all of this because there is an angel right now in their life that is trying to free them, right? That is trying to give them the choice and trying to teach them that they have a choice between light and dark between heart and head or both you can't let your head lead your head is a summation of all the past events and sometimes your head doesn't agree with your heart you have to let your heart lead because your head is the computer your head is the is the thing that computes and 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 takes the action and all that stuff but your head is not designed to to inspire you your heart is and they're realizing that okay so let's have a look at why their present focus is the Ten of Pentacles. And it's because of the Queen of Wands. This person, you know, they're wanting to pursue. Um, they're wanting to go after someone that they desire more. So this could be you, Capricorn, especially if you have fire in your rising or your moon, especially if you're like an Aries rising or an Aries moon or, um, you know, what is it called? A um, Sagittarius or Leo sun rising moon even mercury 
even if that's just fire is just your dominant planet or fire is just your dominant element they're thinking about they're wanting this with you they realize that where they were before was toxic and they're currently following their heart wherever they are right now because some of them are still there right they're th they're currently thinking about following their heart because they know that it lies with you okay all right and if this is a woman that you're asking about, this woman is currently taking stock. And I know this isn't the Seven of Pentacles because it's not the Seven of Pentacles. This is things that they already have that they're realizing it just didn't serve them and it's not serving them and they need to leave it behind. It's not going to ever serve them. And they know that they need to walk away from all of it. All right. This is a big deal to this person. This is a big deal. Conscious thoughts and our desires is the Queen of Cups energy. So I really feel like this person is thinking about their feelings towards you or feelings towards a particular situation, their emotions, they're very much thinking about how they feel, right? And this is also about an emperor. Wow, okay, there's a lot of different people that are probably going to be watching this reading. I feel like there's a lot of different people that are going to watch this reading and that's why I'm like, wait, what? Because there's many different stories, I have to keep it broad. Whoa, alright? So they're thinking about what they feel like because that is what okay right this is a woman capricorn that you're watching for this woman is thinking about you they're thinking about you know possibly having you in their life they're thinking about having a, a, a masculine very strong masculine energy so you could be a business owner you could be an aries leo sag or even a capricorn or a taurus emperor energy is very earthly and fiery it's very saturnian okay you could be a father if you're a father if you own a business if you're like a boss if you're Someone who takes authority, you know, if you're in your divine masculine role, then this person is thinking about th how they feel about you. They're letting their emotions towards you flow through them. Now, if you are a woman and you're watching this, this person is thinking about how much they love you because they're realizing that they need to be there for you. They want to be there for you now. Okay, they want to be there for you like the way they were in a bad situation before. Let's have a look at why um, this Queen of Cups energy is in their conscious thoughts and the Four Swords. They will not rest until they think about this. They will not rest until they process this. I mean, this person is completely unrested because this person is in a moon situation, right? So they're in a situation in tarot that we call the moon. They're going through a phase in their life right now where they're looking, uncovering their subconscious. They're experiencing phenomena that they don't understand. This is a, this is a psychic awakening card. I mean, I don't know any reader that can pinpoint exactly what the moon is because every time it comes up, it's different. Every time. Every time you go through something we call a moon phase, it's completely different. It could be dark night of the soul. It could be, you know, finding out someone's cheating on you. It could be, you know, 12th house energy, you know, hidden enemies. It can be anything. Anything that you don't know. It could be paranoia, fear, you know, excessive fear. I mean, come on. This person is feeling all those feelings towards you and about you this week, Capricorn. And a lot of times the moon energy is not bad. A lot of times the moon energy is just what's pulling us. It's kind of like that call in our soul that we don't understand like yo where is this coming from but i just feel like i need to do this that's the moon energy it, it feels like yo i don't know why i don't know how but i need to do this that is how this person feels bro this is not a joke like this is not fun i mean it is i mean i think everything's funny but it's really not funny i'm not gonna be insensitive today i'm trying to be nicer and be an empress <laughs> not be messy and a messy high priestess <laughs> all right so <laughs> This person's challenge and their focus is the nine of pentacles. So they're, they're focused on possibly separating themselves, becoming more individual, possibly even gaining their independence, right? And this is a judgment. This is definitely something that was, has been very important to this person for a while. And they have, um, that it's been dif difficult for them, right? They've gone through a lot to get to this point. Let's have a look at why this person's focused on independence, gaining stability, realizing that they're okay on their own, that they don't need anybody to survive. Why? Because of the Ace of Pentacles. Because they know that they need to be in this energy in order to receive this opportunity, this golden opportunity, to rebuild this Ten of Pentacles energy or to have this. For some of you guys, this person is just focused on this Ten of Pentacles energy because maybe the 
present family that they have or present, you know, home situation or financial situation that they found themselves in, they, they're not happy with. And they're realizing that they need to, they need another opportunity to come out so that they can rebuild or they can make something that's better suited for them. But they know that they need to divest. They need to separate themselves in order to get that opportunity because the nine plus the one equals ten. So this person is, their focus is on their own abundance so that they can create long lasting abundance. You can't build, you know, something from, from absolutely nothing. I mean, you have to, that's why they say be grateful for your blessings because your blessings, right, are your home. Your blessings are your gifts. But a lot of times, if you're not grateful for your blessings, then you don't see that, oh, you know what? I have this gift. I could, I don't know, I could sew, I could paint. And then you develop on it. And then as you do that, then you see the opportunity come out to make money from it, if you choose to. And then you build this long lasting empire. But if you're not grateful for your blessings, you don't see your blessings, then how can you know that, oh, I'm good at painting because you're too busy focused on what you don't have? That's why they say be grateful for your blessings. Okay, so this person, for some of you guys, they're, they're focused on creating a long-term situation and foundation with you. Like, they want to probably have kids with you. They probably want to buy a home, you know, make, get property. This person has nothing. I don't care what sign they are, because they could also be fire. They could be, they could be as fiery as Sag and as airy and airy fairy as Libra and Gemini. But this person has nothing towards this connection. They just want to build. They want to build something sustainable with this. Even if they have something somewhere else, they know that that's not healthy. Okay. All right. So the near future energy, what's happening this week? The Knight of Wands, they're going to take, Ooh, if this is a Sag, boy. This sad? Whoa, whoa. I mean, this is energy, right? But you know what? It doesn't have to be a Sag. It could be an Aries or Leo, but it could also be um, Capricorn. This could also be anyone. It could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody fiery, somebody Martian, somebody who's emboldened and they're passionate and they're inspired, taking inspired action. And what is the nature of this action that is being taken in this connection? death this person is making a change that is very very difficult i mean this is a very long long awaited and this person has not wanted to make this change i mean this change is really really hard like this is hard death reverse is like this is not a death that oh i just passed away in my sleep nope it's i was walking down the street and a truck hit me and now i'm here and i did not even whoa <laughs> that's the energy of this death whoa that is this death and they're doing it oh my god they're doing it you see how it's rushing into the ten of pentacles they could be taking action to separate themselves or they're taking action to create this new beginning it, it just depends on where they are if they've already if they're kind of on their own then they're taking action to separate right I mean, they're taking action to build. If they're, if they're connected, then they're taking action to separate from whatever this was, whatever this devil energy was, to create, right? But this is hard. Whatever it is that they're doing, it's difficult. Whether they're a bad starter or they're a bad finisher, this person is really bad at the beginnings or endings, whichever one, and they're about to do it, whichever one's harder. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at what else this person is taking expired, taking inspired action towards or on the king of swords i'm telling you right now i mean the king of swords is no joke this guy doesn't play he doesn't play the games i mean king of swords i'm libra aquarius energy he's not playing games she's not playing games whoever this is they are not playing games out here they're not i don't know who this is i don't know who this could possibly be but they are not playing these games no more all right, so let's have a look at why this matter. This is like almost. This is wow. This is this energy is like what? Let's have a look at why you Capricorn. I never knew. All right, so let's have a look at why the Knight of Wands energy is coming in in the near future. Page of Pentacles. I mean, come on. They know they need to put in the effort. They know action is needed. This person is making changes. This person is making changes. Okay, disclaimer. Well, not really a disclaimer, but just for some of y'all, okay? If you're connecting to somebody and it's unhealthy, it's not a good situation. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of abuse. There's a lot of toxicity. Whatever this devil represents, it's fear. It could be fear-based. 
could be codependent, whatever. Whoever you're with in a connection, they're making changes. They're taking action to make changes in this connection. Now, this could be staying in the connection, you know, but making serious changes, right? I don't care whose side it's on or who's the false. I don't care. They're making changes, right? But some of you guys, though, very few of you guys, I don't think people like that really watch tarot readings. I think most people who are super karmic, they kind of avoid this stuff. They feel like it's like the devil's work, so that's good. Um, but <laughs> if you're super karmic, you know, this person might just be leaving you. Like, they might just be leaving us. They really just might, baby. Yo, they really might. <laughs> but if you're not connected and you know the person that you, you're, this, you're dealing with or you're connected to, because I don't like saying dealing with because it's kind of like, um, excuse me, it's a connection. You don't, you're not, you're, you're a beautiful soul. You connect. You don't deal. You connect, baby. All right? This is a connection. I don't care how it's going. If you think you're dealing with somebody, stop it. Stop dealing with them then. You don't deserve it. All right? So this person, <laughs> you know, if you're separated, you know how this person feels about you. Y'all both are, oh, they're leaving, whatever this is, for you. But this person is making a serious change. I mean, long away. I mean, it's going to be like, baby, where you been? Wait a minute, Jesus. That's how I feel about, oh, this energy is flowing through me. This is good. This is good. Oh my God. This person is making changes. They are. This person is making change. Bro, you have never seen them like this ever. You don't know this person. All right. And it could, it, listen, for most of y'all, it's good. I mean, come on. My guys don't really give out messages that pull people down. You know, they give out messages to lift people up. That's how my guides are. That's, you know, that's just how I am too. But I feel like for some of y'all, right, you're going, you're about to go through a spiritual awakening and that's why this is happening. Some of you guys are about to go through a major spiritual awakening and it could be characterized by somebody leaving you. That was an unhealthy situation and, you know, they're being inspired by spirit. They're letting spirit run through them because maybe you are too afraid to do it and that's okay. Sometimes people need to leave our life so that we can ascend, but they're letting you know that it's not just one of y'all who's going through the spiritual awakening. It's the both of you guys, Capricorn. You're going through a spiritual awakening. And it's going to feel like a dark and lonely road, but it's not a dark and lonely road. You just need to connect with other people who are spiritually awakened or are going through it as well. Okay? I've been through this. This is not fun. It's very lonely when you're... I was all alone. You know? I was very alone. You know? And it's very, it could be very, very, very lonely. You know? So just connect with people. I don't know how this is going to go. You're going to know, baby. All right, you just do what you feel is right and make sure you don't alienate yourself. Some of y'all need to hear that, not all of y'all. That's it. All right, so what is the, what else are they feeling towards you? The Four of Cups. Feeling about you this week, the Four of Cups. I mean, this person is feeling a, a heavy amount of dissatisfaction, okay? And this could be, you know, for some of you guys, it could be, listen. If you're the one who is spiritually connecting to this person and you know it, which you will know, you'll know when you're going through the moon. You can't be like, I don't know, I'm not sure. You know when the moon is affecting your life. You trust me. This person is coming to you, right? And they feel it too. They don't, they don't know why. They don't know how, but they feel it. They feel it. They don't know how or why, but they feel it. If this person is karmically attached to you, they are wanting to take the opportunity that spirits are handing them and leave. Okay? With the Wheel of Fortune showing up in my deck as well, they're going to take the win, the next wind, the next phase, and they're going to leave. Justice. All right? They're feeling like you guys are not bringing each other justice. Or maybe they can feel like they're not bringing you justice. You know, maybe this person isn't having a spiritual awakening. Maybe they're just super toxic and... They just are going to go meet somebody more toxic and go be toxic together in toxic heaven. And why this is happening is because you're supposed to ascend. Okay? So God bless everybody in this situation. I'm going to go ahead and get an oracle card as well. Okay? Before we go, everybody calm down. It's fun. Relax. Nobody can speak over your life. Calm down. All right? Because I feel like somebody's panicking. Yeah, calm down. Don't attach so heavily to material things. They always come and go. 
They always do. All right? Especially people. Okay, so let's have a look at um, what your spirit guides or what even what this other person has to say to you, Capricorn. All right, feel all your emotions. So this person feels like you need to let yourself feel all of your emotions, clear quartz. Right? Some of you guys kind of repress your emotions. Your entire rainbow spectrum of feelings is sending you important messages and guidance. So they want you to know that you can be who you are and express yourself fully and feel all of your emotions. My hand is cold. Um, so feel all your emotions. Let your emo all the emotions run through and honor them as well. Okay? And this person just wants you to know that whatever is happening right now, that is divine intervention. They want you to know that God like the, this energy this is not this is their spiritual path but this is divine intervention okay and then don't worry this is actually a blessing in disguise i don't know who you are some of you guys are coming together with this person and it's kind of like you know what just know that god answered our prayers because we were praying to be together and god answered it you know what i mean for those for some of you guys for others of you guys if this is someone that you're connecting with and you're wondering why things are the way that they are and they're overwhelming it's because God is working in your life to free you, to elevate you. You deserve more. Sometimes when we're in a place we don't realize we, sh we don't need to be in, we cling on, but we don't have to. All right, you guys, I'm the spiritual Barbie, okay? Thank you so much for joining me. Once again, please remember, I am not responsible for the messages that I get. I simply am a channel. So getting mad at the reader is futile, because if this is your message... And this is inevitable for you. Running from it doesn't do anything. So calm down. Calm down and don't jump at the reader. Please. All right? So, as you guys probably know, I'm a tower reader. I'm a psychic. And I'm also a witch. If you like any of my services, you can check the description bar down below. I'd be so happy to help you and extremely happy to connect with you guys. Thank you to all you guys who already have. I appreciate that very, very, very much. And I love working with you guys. And I can't wait to work, can't wait to work with new people as well, with the new people that are coming in. Thank you guys so much. All right. Um, also, for those of you guys who have liked, commented, and subscribed to my channel, I appreciate that as well. So, so much. God bless you guys. You guys are the fucking best. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tune out. I got to take a break after this reading. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you guys again next week. Take care. Take it easy, okay? Bye-bye.